This video is a treat for those of you who like fans. I live directly across from a ski resort, so I hear these things running constantly. And last summer I got a chance to see one up close when I was hiking up the mountain. But I've decided to get a video of one of these snow machines in action. Let's get up close to it. As you can plainly hear, they're extremely loud. And they're very, very unenergy conservative. <laughs> These things take up so much energy. I, I read the statistics online and it's just mind boggling. I can't understand how these guys make money. But the concept is very simple. So simple, in fact, I'm surprised I didn't think of it. The fans work by, well, first of all, water is forced up to the fan tower at such a high speed, high amount of pressure, forces the water into atomizing nozzles, which mix with cold air. Now, if it was simply water being forced out these nozzles at such a high pressure that the drop in pressure as they're released freezes it into ice crystals, if it was simply water, it would turn into ice. And people would be skiing on a, a slope covered in ice, which wouldn't be too cool. To prevent the water from turning into ice crystals, now this is how nature makes snow. Excuse me. It requires a nucleus, something for the ice crystals to form around so that they don't become solid crystals of ice. So there's a retention pond at the base of the hill that collects water runoff from the hill plus rainwater, etc. And in that retention pond they have mixed in a, um, a nucleizer. I'm not exactly sure what they use, but Whatever it is, it's a fine particle that the ice is allowed to able to form crystals around, but small enough so that it doesn't clog the nozzles. It's a very ingenious idea, and it works very well. Now you know how snow is made. And we're driving right now in a the beginning stages of a snowstorm. So, in no time, my entire car will be covered once again in fresh powder. That's more than you ever wanted to know about snow. Until then.